Hey, my name is Connor, and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. This video will be a follow-up video to my Arbitrum airdrop tutorial that was released just a few weeks ago because Arbitrum did announce that the Odyssey event has started and users will generate more rewards and possibly amplify their Arbitrum airdrop if they do complete these weekly tasks. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to complete week one of the Arbitrum Odyssey event. Without further ado, let's get right into the video and let the games be with you. So Arbitrum is a layer 2 scaling solution for the Ethereum network and on May 27th I did release a video showing you how to get eligible for the Arbitrum airdrop. It does appear that my speculation about the airdrop is correct, although there has been no formal announcement about a snapshot. Now it's important to note with Arbitrum, this is the 10th largest blockchain in terms of total value locked. As you can see it has $766 million in total value locked and the Optimism airdrop which at the time, if you sold it right away when it was airdropped, it was worth around $1,000 to $2,000. Optimism is number 16 with total value locked with a $315 million total value locked in their DeFi protocols. So Arbitrum is much bigger than Optimism, which is why I think this airdrop will be even bigger than Optimism. So these are very important tasks to complete. So with that being said, let's get right into what the Arbitrum Odyssey event is all about. This is from the official Arbitrum Twitter account saying that the time has come. This is an eight week long journey into Ethereum's premier layer two Arbitrum. So now week one is for onboarding. So you must bridge Ethereum and only Ethereum at least once into Arbitrum starting now up until June 27th. So we still have four days to complete this event. It doesn't matter if you complete it right before the deadline, just make sure that you do get it done. All right, so you can use a bridge slash fiat on ramp below any one of these bridges. I'll be showing you how to use the top two. And the reason you should use the most popular bridges, because you can see right here, if you end up using the protocol that had the most Ethereum volume bridge into Arbitrum during the week, you'll be eligible to claim an additional NFT at a later date all right so it's very important that we go ahead and we try to use the bridges that will be the most popular with the most ethereum bridged over so that we get this additional nft and most likely if you do complete all of these events with the arbitrum odyssey it will multiply your airdrop amount all right so this is very important if you are enjoying the content thus far and you're new to crypto empire be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and of course turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos so let's get right into how to actually bridge Ethereum. It can only be Ethereum, no other cryptocurrency, from one of these various bridging protocols on to Arbitrum. So we can also look at a tweet from Olympio Crypto, and he's talking about the best strategy to get this bonus NFT is to use as many bridges as you can. You might as well try the ones that don't have a token yet because you might get an airdrop for using a bridge that doesn't have a token yet. So he went ahead and listed all of the various different bridging protocols that you can actually use to get your Ethereum over to Arbitrum. And he also went ahead and showed you the two most popular ones right now in this image and they are Across and Seller Network. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive on using these two bridges Across Protocol as well as Seller. First of all, we will use Across so we can click on this link right here and it will take us right to the bridge. And with that being said, you will need a MetaMask wallet with the Arbitrum blockchain connected. I showed you how to do this in this first video. If you have not already set up your MetaMask wallet with the Arbitrum network connected, you must go to chainlist.org. And once you're on chainlist.org, you can go ahead and search Arbitrum at the top. And then from here, you can connect your wallet and then you can add it right to MetaMask. Now, I already have Arbitrum in my MetaMask wallet, as you can see, the Arbitrum One network. So you will need to do that as a prerequisite, but you should already have that done if you've watched my first video on how to set yourself up for the initial airdrop. So heading back to Across, we're gonna go ahead and connect our wallet here, connect our MetaMask wallet, and we will go ahead and follow the MetaMask prompts. So we wanna go from Ethereum to Arbitrum. All right, so we wanna use as many bridges as possible, and there is no specified amount. So all I'm gonna do is bridge over 0.01 Ethereum from each different various bridge. All right, so we will have to pay a gas fee, so keep that in mind. Right now the gas fee is quite small, but this is all we have to do to get the airdrop. Just bridge over your Ethereum using any of these various different protocols, and if you use the most popular one, you'll get an additional bonus NFT. 
So all we'll do is hit send at the bottom, then we'll go ahead and hit confirm. We'll pay a gas fee of 0.002 ETH, which is currently around $2, so that's not bad at all on the Ethereum network. So we'll go ahead and bridge that over. We'll be back when it's done. So the deposit has succeeded and the funds will arrive in one to three minutes and we can check out the transaction page to check on the progress of this bridging transaction. And we can see here that the status is still pending. All right, so while we wait for that, let's go ahead and check out the seller bridge as well, which might be the most popular one used. So to do that, we're gonna head back to this tweet here. I'll put all the relevant links in the description down below for your convenience but we're gonna go ahead and use the seller bridge here. So let's go to cbridge.seller.network and it's gonna take us to the seller bridge. All we wanna do now is connect our wallet on the top right and we wanna connect our MetaMask wallet again, all right? So we'll go ahead and do that. Now from here, we wanna to bridge to the Arbitrum network. So we will hit Arbitrum just here. And all we're gonna to wanna to do again is use Ethereum. Remember, you can only use Ethereum, and I will be bridging over 0.01 ETH. So after all of the fees, it is estimated that we will receive 0.006376 Ethereum. So let's hit transfer and go through with the transaction. As you can see, this one will take five to 20 minutes to bridge over from Ethereum to Arbitrum. So let's confirm this transfer. Now we will be prompted to confirm it in our MetaMask wallet. And for this gas fee, we're going to be paying $3.32, so a little bit more expensive than the across bridge. Nonetheless, we'll go ahead and submit the transaction and wait for it to go through. Okay, so we are back now at the across bridge and we can see that the status has been filled. This bridge was successful from Ethereum to the Arbitrum network for an amount of 0.01 Ethereum. Also looking at seller, we can go ahead and see that this was also completed from Ethereum to Arbitrum. Now what we can do is head on over to galaxy.eco slash Arbitrum, and this will go ahead and show us the status of our Arbitrum Odyssey event. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we're connected to the Arbitrum network over here. So let's make sure we switch over our MetaMask. And once we do that, this is the first NFT, as you can see this cat with a, a girl's face. And we wanna make sure that we meet the requirements. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. So it does appear that Galaxy Eco has not yet refreshed and seen my transaction on the blockchain for Seller Bridge as well as across. But we can also use these links right here and it will take us to the same pages we were just on. For example, if we click on Seller, we can go to the same website we were just on. If you don't wanna use the tweet links over here from Olympio Crypto, I'll be sure to leave this link down in the description below. But nonetheless, after you do complete these bridges, it will show up as a green check mark over here when this does refresh. You can see you do have until the 27th of June to complete this event, so a few more days. But this right here is how you complete week one of the Arbitrum Odyssey event. It is recommended that you use as many bridges as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and use some more bridges, but I showed you how to use the top two in terms of volume in this video to make sure that you do get that additional bonus NFT. So in this video, I showed you how to complete the week one task of the Arbitrum Odyssey event where you need to bridge over Ethereum from any various different bridging protocol onto the Arbitrum network. All right, the Arbitrum airdrop is expected to be a big one, could be four figures, so make sure you complete all of these steps because this Odyssey event may also act as a multiplier for your airdrop. Also with that being said, the ZK Sync airdrop is also expected to be released sooner or later. I do have a full tutorial on how to use ZK Sync and get yourself ready for that airdrop here on the channel. I'll leave the link to that video in the description down below. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Also, if you are new to Crypto Empire and you are not already subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button down below and of course, turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.